Hey everybody, it's Derek from Yumly. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to place your Yumly Smart Thermometer probe into the meat in order to get the best results. I'm also gonna be going over some other general usage and care tips for you. So first thing, let's get started with how to place the Yumly Smart Thermometer probe into your meat. So I'm gonna demonstrate these tips for you on a couple of boneless, skinless chicken breasts I have here. These are actually one of my favorite things to cook with the Yumly Smart Thermometer. When a chicken breast comes out perfectly cooked, it's so tender and juicy, and the Yumly Smart Thermometer is a guaranteed way to do that every time. Um, if you have a bone in your meat that you're cooking, you wanna make sure that you're avoiding that with the thermometer. We also don't recommend using the Yumly Smart Thermometer for any ground meats like hamburgers or meatloaf. Typically there's too much fat content in there, or you're gonna have big air pockets, and you're just not gonna get an accurate reading. So, the first thing you wanna look for is just make sure that your chicken breast, or whatever you're cooking, is at least three quarters of an inch thick. Otherwise, it might just be too thin to get accurate results with the thermometer. Um, you wanna be sure to avoid any air pockets here, or uh, if you have a super fatty cut of meat, you wanna avoid those fat pockets. Inserting the thermometer into the thickest part of the meat here, you want to make sure it's good and in the center there because that's where you want to be sure that everything is cooked accurately. Most importantly though is that you want to make sure that you insert the Yumly Smart Thermometer all the way up to the ceramic end here. If you have too much of the stainless steel exposed um, it, and it's exposed to the high heat, it can cause internal damage to the thermometer and you'll definitely get an inaccurate reading. Great, so now that you know how to place your Yumly Smart Thermometer Probe in order to get the best results, I wanted to go over a couple of other general usage and care tips. Uh, first, you never wanna use your Yumly Smart Thermometer in anything like a heavy pot with a big lid, like a Dutch oven here, because the Bluetooth signal might not be able to make it through this enclosure. Another thing, you never wanna wrap your Yumly Smart Thermometer in any type of metal foil. This creates what science calls a Faraday cage, which is just a really fancy way of saying that the Bluetooth signal is not gonna make it through. Now, if you do need to wrap something in tin foil, you need to have this black ceramic end of the thermometer sticking out of the tin foil so that the signal can get through. Another thing I wanted to cover really quickly was cleaning your Yumly Smart Thermometer when you're done using it. You never ever put the probe into the dishwasher. I like to use a soapy paper towel or cloth or the soft side of my sponge and wipe it down. I'll then rinse it really quickly with a wet paper towel and dry it off immediately. You don't really wanna hold this under a running stream of water and you definitely never wanna submerge it into any water to clean it. I hope you found that video helpful. If you still have any questions or issues, be sure to check out our FAQ online. You can always email me at support at yumly.com. We appreciate you buying the Yumly Smart Thermometer and we look forward to cooking with you soon.